Programming is required when replacing a control module or for software-related updates. Normally, BMW requires programming of every control module that has an available software update. iScan has the ability to selectively code and program control modules. You can either program all modules, a group of modules, or a single module. This can save time as well as prevent possible issues like module failures during programming. Simply put, you can program only the module you need and not the entire vehicle, addressing your customer's original concern without causing new issues. Before beginning programming, be sure a suitable vehicle power supply is connected to the vehicle. You should also follow all manufacturer recommendations for vehicle preparation for programming. Today, we're going to program the DME on this 2013 328i. To begin, tap Euro, tap BMW, tap Coding and Programming, tap FCIP. This screen displays all the options for coding and programming. Option 1, System Select allows the technician to code or program an individual module. Option 2, Retrofits are used when a module requires a customization or a function needs to be modified. Option 3, All Systems Programming Coding Detecting runs a full scan to determine which modules require coding and programming. Option 4, All Systems Encoding will recode the entire vehicle. Option 5, Edit Vehicle Information is an advanced feature that gives the ability to alter the vehicle order. Option 6, Report Vehicle Information creates a log of vehicle information. Tap Option 3, All Systems Programming and Coding Detecting. Tap Enter. And this screen will be showing all the modules available for programming and encoding. As you can see, some are already up to date. And that's highlighted in green, and the rest are in the drop down menus that are available. Tap Exit. Tap Option 1 System Select. Tap Option 1 Powertrain System. Tap Option 1 DME DDE. Tap Option 2 Programming and Coding. This screen is a forced wait screen to give us time to read the disclaimer. This screen shows how big the file is. And after we look at that, we can tap enter to continue. And then confirm everything shown on the screen. Tap enter to agree and continue. This screen shows the progress of the programming. Once programming is completed, the encoding will begin. Then, fault codes will be cleared. All procedures have been completed. Tap the right arrow. Follow all the steps on the screen to continue. Tap option one. System select allows the technician to code or program an individual module. DME programming is now complete. With iScan, the process is simple and reliable.